Locking or unlocking a door is a very common daily task for most of us. But have you ever wondered how a cylinder lock actually works? Well, let's have a closer look. First of all, let's see which main components the lock consists of. We have the body, which holds all parts together. It also protects the lock from easy manipulation or destruction. The plugs take in the key. They unlock the door when being rotated. The pins and counterpins intersect with the shear line, when no key or a wrong key is inserted into the plugs. When the right key is inserted, they align with the shear line and the lock can be opened. The springs push the pins and counterpins back into their locking position. The cam gets rotated when the plugs are rotated. It pushes the dead bolt of the mortise lock into or out of the door frame, thus locking or unlocking the door. So now that we know the main components and their functions in theory, let's look at what actually happens inside a cylinder lock when we use it. What happens when we try to rotate the plug without a key? In our case, the counterpins collide with both the plug and the body, thus preventing the plug and the cam from being rotated. We can't lock or unlock the door. But what happens if we try to use the wrong key, provided its profile fits into the plug? Although the pins get pushed down by the wrong key, they do not align with the shear line and therefore the plug cannot be turned. So let's try it with the right key and see what happens now. The right combination of pin lengths and key notches ensures that both pins and counterpins are perfectly aligned with the shear line. Now we can turn the plug and lock or unlock the door.